Let's talk about Beverly Hills Cop 4 slash Axel F slash Axel Fully, whatever you want to call it. Let's talk about it. So this is the fourth uh, in the Beverly Hills Cop series and is a bunch of decades in the making. Apparently there was going to be a TV show like a decade ago, but then that pilot wasn't picked up about his son, wasn't picked up. And then they started trying to make this film. And... I will just say, I loved it. Um, two is still my favorite, but I think this does really do a good job at holding up to the first one. And of course, one and two are actually on Netflix. I guess they didn't want three. Three's terrible, so I understand why. But yeah, it's boring, honestly. But Beverly Hills Cop 4 is good. So this one is about Axel is now in his 60s. He's getting up there in years. And... Uh, after going up to with one of his shenanigans again, he gets a call from um, Rosewood. Rosewood saying, hey, look, your daughter is in trouble. Maybe you want to come and help her and me solve this case. And, of course, uh, Axel shows up in Beverly Hills and tries to help his daughter and Rosewood solve this case. And, of course, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is also there. Kevin Macon's there. And, of course, Taggart is there as well. And... This is a fun movie. It most certainly is fun. And I think it has the right blend, the perfect blend of of action and comedy. Uh, Bill Murray is funny. And I didn't really like Coming to America, uh, the, the second one. And Dolomite is my name. Was good, but it just wasn't... But it was a bit more, like, raunchy than I... As a kid growing up with Shrek was used to seeing from uh, Bill Murray. So I liked it, but, you know, it was just like, oh, uh, okay, a little a little raunchy for me. And, of course, that's what Dolomite was. Dolomite was raunchy, uh, even back in the, the, you know, back in the day, the 70s. And uh, Eddie Murphy, I think, does a good job going back into the shoes of Axel. This is a really fun film. I'm going to probably watch it again maybe i'm kind of deciding what two things to watch tonight but i might watch it again tonight who knows uh if there's enough time but yeah this is a great this is really good um and i think bill murray did a great job and i think it just you know like i said it also has some great music cues uh we do play for some reason both the song from one and the song from two kind of back to back and I didn't, I don't really know how I feel about that because that's just like maybe too much of the old music, but like you get the ba 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 da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 and you even have like a slow version of that at one point. And like it's really good. Um, and yeah, this this film's fun and stuff like that. It, 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 it's, it's just fun. Uh, if you're a fan of the, of the most recent Bad Boys films, this isn't as visually creative as that film is or as those films are but it's most certainly going to i think wet your palate if you're a fan of those new bad boys films um but yeah um a problem i do have is that the daughter can be slight because so axel and his daughter um jane are estranged and it's a story you've seen a thousand times and i think bill uh eddie murphy does a good job at playing the dad side of that but the daughter i'm happy that they got an actual actress it doesn't seem like they got a a, a comedian to do it thankfully um but I, I will say that she i think she she plays like it pretty good consistently but there are moments where she's like supposed to be mad at axel and it doesn't really feel supernatural or it doesn't feel like natural you know enough it, it, it seems like it's not really coming from a place of this character is genuinely upset and sometimes it is but very often it just feels like this is the part of the movie where the daughter has to be arbitrarily mad at axel and it, it you know it, it, it didn't really feel that great uh it, just as a viewer and yeah uh, but also, Joseph Gordon-Levitt isn't uh, in it as much as I thought he was from the trailers. But he he does a good job, so it's fine. Um, and yeah, this is like a good movie. Um, 
At first, I thought this movie would look a little dull and bland. It looks good. Um, it kind of looks... Uh, oh, I forgot. I, the, the, the night scenes and the scenes in Michigan kind of look like the new Halloween movies. But thankfully, we get to California and it's nice and sunny and it doesn't look like bad like the new halloween movies didn't look bad but like the new halloween movies aren't what i want beverly hills to look like or you know the cops and yeah, i'm just gonna throw this out there now i may review ninja pretty soon i want to i want to review uh, what re, i want to watch ninja pretty soon but i can't wait for the day when someone makes the the um the beverly hills cop ninja chihuahua triple crossover i've been wanting that for like five years maybe six years now i, I want to see the the cop the ninja and the chihuahuas team up i know those are different studios but someone fan make that please and i would absolutely watch that oh yeah that's it for now um this video is a little longer than i thought it would be um but that's it for now remember that god of me especially loves you very much i hope you're having a very lovely day and as always god bless y'all